Hello everyone, my name is Emmer and this is Kenji. So last time we had hired some new people. We have our good friend Mesitatus. He's gonna get some veggies. And uh, Scratch is almost done. Uh, cooking all of that meat. So now Mesitatus. Here's the thing, the hemp is quite ready to be worked on. Because while well, everybody else just went and did it. So I guess let's have them all come out front. Ugh. You have ice and mute. It's all good stuff. Alright, so over here, we do have uh, this now. <clears throat> so... We have a handful of choices we can do here, we can make. So, we're gonna need a an actual armor. An actual armor bench, an actual weapon bring. Brinch? Yes, those brinches. This is Brinchy. Okay, so we don't want to put it too close uh, to the edge, lest we be unable to do certain things, like go up the stairs. And I can't wait for Kenshi 2, then this becomes very simple. <clears throat> okay, so with the tanning, the thingamajig over there. And let's, let's see. There are some areas that require, there are some items that require both leather and cloth. So, <clears throat> we might be running up against something where uh, we're basically we'll have to have some people run back and forth, which would be a pain. But um, <clears throat> right now we have our Let's see, can we put the... So it's a leather crafting bench. It's that one. Let's actually swap these. So it looks a bit better, I guess. Put that one there. Then we'll put the crafting bench over here. See, it looks much nicer. Let's get rid of storage. To storage. And we're going to want to put some leather here. Yes, yeah, so the leather can go there. There's going to be the hides as well. <coughs> What, be called like a hide grid or something, or something like that. Mm. Skins, there we go. We'll just put this over here. So those are good now. We are going to want to put this, I don't know, uh, we want to put an armor, armor storage like here. So it's just a bit easier for our leather smith to use it. <clears throat> okay, so that is all working out. We we are going to want to actually make a meat uh, container over here somewhere. 
Let's see, this has that. Let's have Scratch take this stuff. Okay, can't reach it. Scratch, you take that and um, just put it in there, I guess. And okay, we are finishing off. Oh, that's good stuff. This we can get rid of. And uh, well, I guess we can have anybody. Miss uh, Mesa toss us come over here. This stuff. We're gonna want to put a meat storage over here. And then we'd actually be able to put it here if it's small enough. So it's just storage, full of meat. And it's very small. So I don't think we're going to help this one. Yeah, we'll have to just pick up here. Get back here. <clears throat> now the other thing is, we're actually going to need a container for rice wheat as well. So, we'll move this up here. We'll put the container for rice weed back here, wherever it could fit. Okay, we're good. And so that's just going to allow us to... This is just going to allow us to do all that good stuff. Now... Mesa Tuptus... But what is Miu doing? She's over here working on that. Okay, yeah, all to go So this is out of hole. The very bottom of that. Put a move engineer just below that. What's a Mesa Tatas do? Yeah, she's working on this one. Good. So that definitely works for us. Uh, once a Mesa Doctus is done, well, actually, Scratch is going to move with this one as soon as he is out of meat to cook. Let's have Fen actually pick up all the meat. Uh, no, Zumi, you go do your thing. Fen, uh, you pick up all the meat. Since the meat costs the least, we're going to put the meat in this. Maybe that will allow people to passively purchase food from us. But hey, we'll see. Who's this person? Missionary. Oh hey, they can just barely afford it. That's good. Alright then. So it does give us a way of making money somewhat passively. We would probably need to go and find a means by which to encourage them, I guess, to well, purchase that stuff. But yeah, it just is what it is. So over here, what do they need? Iron plates. Iron plates. Okay, the usual. Okay, so on the bottom of our tower here, we are going to put a lot of our uh, primary storage, I guess. So it's going to be storage, and we are going to go over with iron plates. We're going to put that 
in here just and try to uh, compact it all in as much as we can. We're gonna go with that. Uh, we're not gonna be getting ore, so we're not even gonna worry about that. Electricals? No. Oh. Wait, can we put electricals on other things? Can you stack stuff? Like you see in the area, in the uh, other zones? Because if you could, that'd be cool. Chainmail, we will most likely start making chainmail, but we don't have them just yet. And that's something that we would try to keep next to whatever it is. Okay, so building materials. I suppose we will need steel bars eventually. You know, thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I could put these under the stairs. That might be ideal for them, actually. Because then other things that take up a bit more room, but that need more overhead space, can be put in uh, the areas that need more overhead space. So, that means we can that there. Now we want to go to crafting. Let's see, electrical workbench. Hmm. I'm thinking more of we, we don't have a proper armor smith area. <clears throat> so we're not gonna to worry too much about that. We can't put an item burnus in here. However we could get put a an arrow making bench in here. And then we would need to put a storage and go now it's called a bolt box first put that over here as close to this as we can get it and a crossbow stand or box or something like that Crossbow locker. Yeah, put that there. So whoever can just come in here, work on this, put stuff in there, and then put other things in there if they need to. So that will all work. We may have to move things at some point, but uh, you know, otherwise, maybe we won't. But. In essence, being able to have most of what we need and being able to have a way of making a lot of food relatively quickly, a lot of money relatively quickly, is very important to us. Now, I don't think there's anything... Well, I would say I don't think there's anything else we can buy. I haven't checked. Actually, I think that is literally everything we can buy. So that works for us. We are using more power than they generate now with, with all our stuff, which is unfortunate. Because that means that now we need to try and find, we need to start adding power. I mean, in a way that's great for us. <laughs> Now uh, we aren't having to do a whole lot of stuff, I guess. But uh, we also... Let's see. Power, power, power. There it is. I'm going to go with a small wind generator that we can put on top of things. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can put one here. Maybe this one will fit over there if we angle it just right. Good luck with that, though. 
So it looks like the, oh, hey, wheel foot. Nice. But just barely. And here's, mm, here's the thing. I know that they can't run over the dome, which is stupid. Why is it there? But, uh, so that means we, we probably shouldn't block that off. Now I also know that these will work anywhere that isn't inside. Now we don't need to worry about defense because, well, this place is nice and heavily defended so we can add lots of power to it. Lots and lots of power. And so any way we can, just add power is going to be worth it to us. Because that will allow us to have a little bit of extra. And this can be really dumb and that'd be great. So each one of these, they generate about 15 power. I think. And you can have them just be like this on top of each other and no one seems to care. The game doesn't care. The game just smiles and nods whenever you do something like this. <laughs> the game just smiles and nods. Goes, yeah, okay. I think it was green over here for, for like a hot second. Just a sheer instance of green. It's probably the... A slight momentary greening, greening of this. Okay, I, I think that's more than enough. Because each one of those is going to generate 50. That's, that's way more. That, that's too much. We only need to expand this as our needs demand. So that's probably fine. If you're wondering about turning blue like this, that is a mod I have installed. It, it just makes it so that the... It just makes it so instead of it being that ugly red wireframe thing that can be hard to see, instead it makes it a blue burn blueprint. Which is very nice. Alright, so we're making taggle musts, taggle musts. And we're actually getting some of them now. So Shrek is becoming somewhat skilled at making these. Which is great. Because that means that now we can have a Samwan. Probably Mew. Wait, no. Ice. Ice, I want you to come over here. You've got your big, big backpack. Who will take all of these? And go sell them. Wow, that trader backpack holds so much more. If only we could turn these on their sides, right? All right, Ice, take all of those, and let's go over to the hardware store. Go to the hardware store. The weird Al Yankovich. I don't know what it's this. I don't know what it's a spoof of. All right, so some of them are just absolutely terrible, but that's okay. Because as our person gets a slightly more skilled, they start selling for progressively more and more. Until one soon, they're all going to be they're going to be standard grade more often than not. But then we will start to make money. Oh no, we can't afford that. Oh. Alas. So what I want you to do is I want you to work on uh, this one. Go. Now I want you to uh, drop all of these off. 
Angst. <laughs> Let's see, how much hemp do we have? Are we are we filled up on the hemp? Do we have maximum hempage? No, actually. Do we have a lot of fabrics? Hemp here is pretty much always maxed out. So I don't know if that's good. Let's see, how much do we have? We have, you know, a decent amount of medicine over here. Dokchun is basically going to be the, the best doctor ever uh, by the end of this. Now this stuff, uh, he's making standard first aid kits. Those sell for a small profit. I mean, for the additional cost of It costs one fabric and one hemp, and you pretty much double its value. It just it, it does take a while for him to uh, complete that. Alright, Doc, what you doing over here? Making food. Alright, scratch. We have a jag longer over here. Uh, some random people who are stuck here. Probably gonna starve to death. Okay, Zoomies over there. We're all over here. And what can we do? Okay, so I have a I have an idea. All this is pretty much on auto right now. So we can have Fen and crew go get a bunch of food. And then we can potentially go exploring. We could go hunt some fog princes to make a little bit of make a little bit of money. It'll take us a while to get there. Won't really be worth our time, uh, I don't think. Oh. So this finished it. The uh, farming rice wheat. It did finish. So. We're looking at rice wheat. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get three in there unless we do our little trick of like one, and then we go to the other one, we put this one in, it literally is as packed in there as it can get. And this would just take absolutely forever. It would be very uninteresting to watch out. So. So that's rice reed, rice reed, rice reed. But uh, let's have Fen run in there. So here's the thing. Ten rice reed and eight green fruit equals one gohan, which is, wor which is not only worth more, it's worth 201, 211 when sold, whereas the fruit vegetables are worth 140. Seven when sold, and the rice balls were 82. So, 147, 182, that's going to be 250. This is worth less than that, but, and this is very important, it's worth more nutrition. So, what that means is now we have something that's worth, that gives us a lot more food. For our a lot more food, and uh, that is incredibly important for us, because it means that now we can take that, and we can go on these nice long treks with just with less food. What's going on here? I think it's at a slight angle, and so the game doesn't like it. Okay, well, how close can we get? 
that close. That's it. So, this is how you get the really compact farms. If you want to build something inside of a town, you kind of have to do this as far as I can tell. Because otherwise, you can't do it. Now, it won't let you... It, like, it won't let me put two here all at once. I'll have to uh, essentially do it manually for this one and then the other. Now, you're probably asking yourself, is that, a, is that enough? Because we have... What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine uh, hems. Well, we have nine brace weeds now. And the hemp's being turned into all kinds of things. It's being turned into clothes, into drugs soon, into all kinds of wonderful, wonderful things. But here's the thing. The hemp is not going to be used in food. It's not going to be used in sake. So we're going to keep putting down even more of this stuff because we are going to want tons and tons and tons of rice wheat because <clears throat> at the end of the day, let's get Fen out of the way. Yes, at the end of the day, let's get Fen out of the way. At the end of the day, we are going to need a lot more rice wheat than anything else. Kind of, uh, not necessarily unfortunate, it's just the reality of what's going to be going on here. So, uh, as you can see, just the most um, gripping uh, most gripping content. But uh, it just is one of those things that we have to do. We want to do this. And we might actually get to the point here where we can't put another one in. And so, at this point, let's go ahead and turn this. Actually, let's, let's go in this direction. Next. Because the moment we can start making Gohan, we can start, well, making our way toward becoming a Super Saiyan. Okay, I'm sorry. Did I tell you guys about the, uh... I remember I saw something where this uh, kid had evidently, because it, it's Super Saiyan, this kid had evidently, this young boy, I, I suppose, with Brom, had asked this girl out, and it had, like, a picture of Goku. He was like, I'm saying, I want to take you to Brom. Poor kid. <laughs> he must have been so embarrassed. I, you know, I, I don't know what would be worse. If she laughed at him, or if, like, he was just teased afterwards. Like, I don't know which one would have been worse. Probably getting laughed at. Okay, I have a question. So how many of these can I fit in this direction? Probably one, two, three, yeah, it's not going to make a difference. Okay. Here's another question. Can I put one here? No. Oh, right, right, right. We need to okay that one first. Come up here to hydroponics to rice mead. And hey, we can put one here. Nice. Well, let's do that then. And uh, let's just... Oh, no. What have I done? Ah, wait. Magic pixel. Excellent. Uh, now we don't have room for here. Oh, well. It was worth it. Alright, well, we have our mass hydroponics ready. Now, let's see what we can do with um, our stillwoods. I guess we can build more of them than we need, strictly speaking. Well, no, we don't need to, actually. Um, hmm. I mean, we could. There's nothing saying we can't. What does rum do? Precious rum. Rum! 
So that's Cactus Rum. Uh, this is Grub. What is Grub made with? I have no idea. It doesn't tell us. That produces Cactus Rum. This produces Sake. Let's uh, spin this around, actually. Oh, never mind. Let's push this. Let's try to actually shove this into this little corner here. And then we can go with food again, and maybe another sake still. I, as I've said before, I have no idea if this. If, if these, t if we need multiples, if it's like beer brewing and Rimworld, then we'll need multiple. But if it's, oh, I, I saw, I saw green for a moment, just a flash. What? What in the world? So I think we are, we're, we're, we're only going to get two out of that. So, yeah, we're only going to get two. So let's move that still back to here. So it can be out of the way. At least more out of the way. Then we're going to want a sake box right next to it if we can. Storage. Sake. Oh, okay. That has to be like this. So, it has come to this. Very well. How about you? I guess I should have thought about where they would go, huh? Um, we don't want it to be too far. The sake barrels probably can't go down there. And I don't think the can go anywhere else either. So, storage. Sake barrels. Looks like we're just gonna have one still. I hope for the best. Ah, yeah. Say sake steel. Yeah, keep it in the corner, I guess. No. No idea how much that holds, no idea what this does. Well, I know what it does. Uh, but I have no idea... Uh, how they process it. Anyway. Either way, we are going to, I don't know what we're going to put up here, because with rice wheat we can make lots of rice, which maybe those poor people can afford, those poor, poor peasants, can they afford the rice, rice bowl, 82, versus cooked vegetables, which is one on so that's 82, and the dried meat is well, they're buying it at full price, so uh, it's one sixty-four, and this one is two ninety-five. Probably why they can't afford it, honestly. That doesn't look like many have actually come and uh, bought anything. So the sake barrels that can hold twenty-five sake. All right, not bad, I guess. And for our tech tree, we're still oh. Well, uh, we have the ability to build the drugs now. I have no idea where it would be. Food? It's not a food. Oh, it is. Really? I, I don't know if the authorities actually try to uh, stop you from using this. 
I mean, we have a lot of free room over here. The game suggests that it should be in the interior, I guess. Now, it's not going to matter, ultimately. But, uh, hey, if the game wants to, to do it that way, I'm more than happy to oblige. Now, I don't know if they'll still be able to get upstairs. Is the problem? Oh no, they can, they can, they can get, they can get around. No problem. Yeah, that's not an issue. What do we need to build this copper alloy, alloy plate? Huh? It's a copper alloy. Then we'll likely need to increase the amount of power that we're generating in town. Oh no, the battery charge. We need to finish this. This thing is needs iron plates. Do we have iron plates anywhere? Iron plates, yes, we do. Bad. Go over here. Get iron plates. Next. More iron plates. Over here. More iron plates. Very good. Let him go up here and work on this. Alright, that was weird. They're somehow getting... No, Ben, work on this. <laughs> oh, we need electrical components. That's fine. We have, yes, we do. Ben, come over here and get all those electrical components. Nice. That's... Make our way back over here. So this needs five, right? Four. Well, we've got five. Let's get work on it. Medical workbench. What are you talking about? What? Oh. Whoops. We didn't need that. Uh, leather tanning. Um, well, we didn't need a medical workbench there. We wanted a leather tanning, a uh, leather armor crafting bench. We can't pause it there. Okay. But anyway. We are now making some air. I mean, some power, I think. No, we need more power. We need more power. So let's go ahead and do that. Small wind generator. So again, we want to make sure our legs are all facing the same way. Let's go ahead and add those two. And we just need to, unfortunately, we went and used a lot of our, uh, well, metal plates. So. Oh, we have two circles over here. But we need more. Okay, we're gonna turn Fen's job off so he stops trying to, uh, to donate things. If he get in a drift. Because we actually need to go and. <clears throat> Uh, we'll get some of these finished so that we, so the battery starts to charge again. Okay, so heavy foundations are done. It's currently very early. Let's have Fen go and uh, just put what he can where he can. He's doing what he can with what he's got. This needs electrical components, so go add those then.
Nice. So when this opens up again, we're going to go get lots of electrical components. Well, we actually need to go sell stuff first. So when it comes to this, how much food do we have? We have a decent amount of food. We also have loads and loads and loads of water. Spitting that. So I'm going to come over here. Actually, not bad. Our good friend, Ice. Come over here, Ice. This is very important. I want you to take as much as you can get in terms of what's that. Yeah, no, you can't carry much. Now I want you to come over to the bar. Okay, good. You didn't put it all back yet. That would have been annoying. <laughs> Overloaded. Yeah, I, I bet. I bet their strength is going up like crazy, though. Welcome, customer. I've got uh, stuff for you. That's great. I'd like to sell you water. Well, that's great. I mean, we could always use water. There's a stream outside. Water. Okay, well, that's good. There's always a stream outside. We can get water. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Give you a water, a water merchant. Like, what do you do in life, sir? Huh? Well, I collect water. Alright, this prince over here. We want to buy all those electric components. And uh, then, well, we don't need all of them. We have two. Let's just take all the plates he has. <laughs> then we need to come over to that. How many iron, how many iron plates does this need? This needs seven. We have five. Well, that's unfortunate. How many uh, plates are applied to this? Too many. Alright, so we're going to need to dismantle that. Ben, go pick these up. No. There we go. Come out. Because they're going to apply them to the wrong things. Praying up there. Come on now, who's got my stuff? I need those plates. It's among you guys, isn't it? Scratch. I need that. Okay. Cool. Now we have everything we need. Let's go over there and, uh, well, fly. We need to make sure that nothing gets put on this. We're gonna close construction. Very good. This will give us a little bit more power. We are still drawing just a little bit more power than we necessarily need. We're gonna set up put Turn Finn's jobs back on, and we're gonna do our thing. Okay. And these are more tagle musts. A lot more of them are shoddy this time. But these standard grid ones are completely worth it. The thing is, we're going to eventually start running into uh, them actually being profitable. Uh, generally profitable. Regularly profitable. Which is going to be very interesting. Okay, so Ice, I want you to go over here. And I want you to sell all of these to that guy over there. Okay, so like that we have some money. Not enough. One, two, three, four. Oh, we have no money again. 
<laughs> and let's make our way over here and uh, put them in this. Oh no, Ice, you teleported. So everyone else get away from this. As Ice comes over here and does her thing. <laughs> They wouldn't just work remotely, evidently. Okay, well, Ice is back up on uh, the, uh, off and doing that again. But let's see, Ice, we have plenty of water again, so we're going to have you once more collect as much water as you can get. Take it over to whoever will take it and sell it. Because the sooner we can get all these metal plates, the better. That lets us buy you know, seven or so of these, not five. It'll be, m it'll be more later. Let's see. I want you to bring those up here. How much does this need? One more. What are the inventories like of the others? Alright, sounds good. Ah, oh, right, wrong person. Yeah. Sounds about right. Alright, I add all of those. And well, you'll you'll do fine. You'll go far, kid. Yeah. Nice, what are you doing? I'm gonna play more of it. There is that. We're going to have ice then leave. Go here, pick up more water, go sell more water, and uh, yeah, do her thing. Go on, ice. I just imagine that at a certain point he's just like, More water? Is that the only thing you sell? Like, yeah, actually. It's actually a really depressing life. Alright, ice. Go ahead and back with this. Add that last bit of material that we need. Alright, excellent. So, now ice is gonna go do their thing. Yeah, we should be fine. Alright, but all our hemp is getting made of this stuff. So it's probably going to need a lot of power when it's done. But, you know what? We are pretty much always at full capacity when it comes to the hemp. When it comes to the fabrics. If we wanted to... How's this one looking, actually? It's actually getting up there. So, I'm sure that once we start being able to make hashish, that that's going to go relatively fast. Now, nothing's going to apply to this. We're just going to dismantle that there. And we will instead head up here like we intended to originally. So that's under food. I'm going to go to a hemp processor. Turns it into hash. Here's the thing. I don't know how the skills work. I don't know if this requires someone to actually actively work it. So we're actually going to hold off on putting down multiple for now. I don't know if the enemy seeing this, the enemy, I don't know if the town people seeing this will actually uh, make them come after us or not. But uh, I uh, have no idea what will happen. We have all these uh, people over here being trapped. They're trying to come over here and they're just getting trapped over here. <laughs> mm. 
we have a nice compact store here. Uh, so Zoomies over there working on that. Scratch is over here. So Dot Chum, I actually would like for you to operate the medical stuff before cooking. Cooking should be a last thing that you do in scratch. You can use that one too, if you need to. Okay, we have plenty of grapefruit, we need green fruit. Alright. But soon we're going to have lots and lots of gay home. We should do it. Make it that way, that's fine. And we're full of them, right? Yeah. Alright, so. How much of this stuff are we getting done? We have lots of fabric, and we have lots of hemp. We are full capacity, so ice, I need you to come over here real quick. I just need you to pick up all the fabric you can. The medicine, we'll uh, take that as well. No, that's not. That's not like that. Leave all the medicine. Let's take all of these. I know. Are any of them actually really good? No, some of them are have decent, I suppose. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that works, I guess. And boom, done. Let's have you go over here to uh, the hardware store. We're gonna drop that one off, all the stuff off, and let our hemp get done. So the fabric sells for 61 each. The basic first aid sells for like 70 something. Not a huge amount, not a huge difference. So for the hemp, we will need Three copper plates. Once. Stay there. What do we need? Three alloy plates and electrical components. I need electrical components. I need three of these. Oh man, those are expensive. One, two, three. And electrical components, which you don't have. You, you have one. All right, ice. This is very important. I need you to come work on this. <laughs> I just dug piling it to it. All right, cool. Nothing to see here, guys. Okay, well, here's the thing. We're gonna look at... I think it was Scratch? No. You. So I want you to work on this. Now, we also need storage, and that's going to be... Hashish storage. I mean, we'll just put it right next to it. Actually, let's see what happens. Nah. Okay, well, he's working on that. She's working on that right now. What is she doing? Oh, she's, ref she's refilling. So that's what she's doing. Because the, the hydroponics are just full at this point. It's 
her inventory is going into that. She gets a little bit of water, does her thing. Food. All right. All right. All right. Well, the nice part about this is if stuff dies on the wall, then that's actually fine. That's cool. Oh, I think I see what's happening. It's like literally one of these gets used. <laughs> it's, uh, it moves over. So, what this tells me. First off, l l let's go see how this works. So, can, is this something where we just stock it and then it works? We need water. Chen is doing that. So what if he just stops working? Does it still work? No, you have to be using it. Now here's the thing. Uh, that does mean that we can just give people hashish jobs and uh, make a ton of money using hashish. So that's probably what we're going to do. Because now this becomes a real money farm. So we can say, okay, play a hemp processor. Let's turn it a little bit so it's sort of like the other one. That's weird. Before it was, uh, Establish we will put like three of them next to each other. It's kind of weird. Either way, well, we, we know how it works now, so and, and all this stuff can be cut, but can be done and play with. Uh, but we have those, and we're actually going to have multiple people making the. So hemp processor. That works. Want this to be as close to the other one as we can get it. So we fit more in there. Now let's see. We're gonna have a lot of people. Well, I mean, three is probably good. Let's. Pause construction on this one, and let's pause construction on that one. Hopefully they only put this up in that, they don't put anything in these. Here's hoping. Because that would just be stupid. Who actually has the electrical component? Because I know there's one here. I know someone has it. Yes, it's not among them, and it'll most likely be in their bag. very weird. Yeah, it just sort of disappeared. It's vanished. But you know what probably happened? I probably took it and ran over here with it. Like, burn. Yeah, that's what it did. Burn? How could you? Betrayed. Betrayed by mine own kind. 
and all this stuff is just going to start dying because there isn't enough production to, to use it all fast enough. However, uh, what I think we're going to do instead of, of this stuff, the basic first aid takes two hours to make, standard first aid takes three, uh, well, okay, never mind. Uh, it won't make a difference. Just trying to find some way to explain away how this can work. But, well guys, it does look like that's all the time I have for this episode. Let's go ahead and... Let's, let's go ahead and unscrew the game just for a moment. Where's... wait, where's Fen? Okay, let's go outside. Let's... Fen? You know how to get outside, right? Does anyone know how to get outside? Uh, yeah. Uh, Meow. I want you to pick up Fen. Where's Meow? There you are. Can you pick up Fen? Uh. Okay. She was stuck for a minute. Okay, very good. Now let's have you uh, go up here and drop Ben off. Cool. Let's 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 unstick the game, shall we? So we're gonna do that by resetting squad positions, loading this. That's gonna have everyone come back here. They're all gonna gather around Fen. And now no one's stuck behind this. Okay. So we're going to have these hashish processors set up. People are going to make lots of hashish. And it's going to be fantastic. But uh, yeah, we, we definitely need to... Uh, we will definitely need to uh, spend some money to get that done. Let's see. It's almost... Almost time for the shop to open. Then we can go in, get the stuff we need, start making drugs literally inside of town. And uh, yeah, it'll be great. Welcome. What do you got? Oh. Just buy all the lips. And does he have more copper plates? Crossing fingers? No. Well, it is what it is, I guess. On that one. Alright, now everybody rushes over. Everybody gets uh, stuck. Nice work, everyone. Right, let's have Finn go there and uh, pick up Crumble John. Put Crumble John down. Pick up this person. Let's put that person down. All right, you guys know the drill. And up, and uh, and up, and uh. Man, it sounds like a song from the 90s at this point. All right, well. Cool. Uh, that did not get it going out. So, Mesa Datos. you to offer this one. Alright, so we have our drug production going. That will hopefully use a lot of hemp. And make it to where our hemp system, our uh, amount of hemp that we create that becomes not enough to sustain, hopefully. Or just add sustainment. That would be fantastic. But, you know, if not, then if not. That's how it goes. But we're just about to get sake going as well. So the hemp will have to be sold to the Thieves Guild. The sake could be sold to literally everyone here. This is the food can, but the food is probably a little bit more... The food's less profitable. But guys, it does look like that's all the time I have for this episode. So go ahead and leave me a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and just share the video with whoever you think would like it. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. 
Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing if you'd like to see more. I really want to know what you'd like to see more of, so just let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and see you next time. Bye.